Agent Dark, mission log 1846 hours. Last night, we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A Datadyne team had taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast. And they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the Datadyne hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Datadyne squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line.
are you waiting for?
Sir, are you injured? No, John. I'm okay. But those Datadyne thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Carroll. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carroll told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Datadyne team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois tonight. I want you to be there. But that doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did. And I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne.